Round 11, the stage is set for Atlanta for Super Bowl 53. Yet here in South Florida, we're already looking forward to next year's big game. Tonight, Miami Super Bowl host committee is preparing to head to Georgia and take a few notes. Yeah, so much planning has already gone into next year's games and the event around it. CBS 4's David Sutta is live in downtown Miami tonight with the exciting details. David. Yeah, this is actually going to be Miami's 11th time hosting the Super Bowl here in South Florida, which is very exciting. It's going to look a little different this time around, though, because instead of the events being scattered across South Florida, a majority of them will be happening right here in downtown Miami. You could call it Super Bowl LIV or live. Either way, Miami is preparing to roll out big plans for the 2020 Super Bowl. We'll have 150,000 people here and only 65,000 will go to the game. Yes, in Miami, the party is much more important than the actual game. Super Bowl committee chairman Rodney Barreto has been throwing super parties since the 1970s. The animations of what they have in mind do not disappoint. Unlike uh, in 2010 and 2007, the NFL has gone to a, basically a central model now. They want all the activities in one area. So we're going to have Super Bowl Live, which is going to be free to the public. Uh, so they can come down, free concerts, free activation. The plans include shutting down part of Biscayne Boulevard. The Super Bowl Live Village will run between the Intercontinental Hotel and Museum Park, showcasing what very few cities can do in February, sunshine and shorts, unlike Minnesota last year. Wasn't great. I was there. It was minus 14 degrees. There is a big plan to have zip lines running up and down Biscayne Boulevard. Whether that will happen is still <clears throat> up in the air. Barreto says we can expect upwards of 5,000 press to cover the hype, giving South Florida roughly $150 million in free advertising. He thinks the story will be impressive because so much has changed since the last Super Bowl in 2010 here. Miami is a different place than 10 years ago. You, you think about it. We have a Perez Art Museum. We have a Museum of Science. We have a tunnel. We have Brightline. We have brand new hotels. I mean, and think of all the new restaurants that opened on this side of the bay between Brickell, Wynwood, and, and uh, Design District. I mean, this is a totally different town. And for business, expectations are high. Well, everybody's going to do really well. This is, this is what it's all about. I mean, from, from a business perspective, it doesn't get any better. Exciting times. There's a couple of events that are happening outside of downtown Miami. That is at the Broward Convention Center. They're going to have the uh, taste of the NFL. And at the Miami Beach Convention Center, they're going to have the NFL experience. As for the logistics, the team here is actually going to be headed to Atlanta to observe all that stuff uh, next week. And then the day after the big game uh, becomes a big ceremony where they pass the football from the Atlanta team to the Miami team, signifying the big move as the Super Bowl comes back right here to South Florida. In uh, downtown Miami, David Sutter, CBS 4 News, tonight. So exciting. Thanks, David. And before Miami gets the football, we do have Super Bowl 53 between the Patriots and the Rams. And the only place to watch it is right here on CBS 4. Sunday, February 3rd, kickoff is set for 630.